Imagine experiencing that geo right before your eyes. Let's go to Masai Mara. fitness as usual uh, today I'm doing something a bit different I mean most of the time you've been used to me doing uh, fitness videos and whatnot but today we're doing a travel vlog so we're going to the Masai Mara yeah so I'll be taking you the whole the whole journey uh, yeah and enjoy see you in a bit uh, along the way I had the uh, one road was closed the, the road that we are going to use the long route okay yeah Sour. Experience within these safaris, we're having elephants being. Uh, what do they think they're being trying to remove from another? Can you please, please show the elephants? As you can see, the helicopter. As you can see, the helicopter over there. And if you just zoom in, buddy, you can see the elephants right there, right? So, oh, what an interesting experience here. Let me show you the elephants again. First uh, stopover, all right, rather than second, yeah. So this is the gift shop. So let's get in and we'll see what this guys up. Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so it's 450 US dollars per person. 450 US dollars. Yeah. Okay. And these will do the transportation. Uh -huh. We come and pick you from the lodge. Okay. It is in our cast to the cake of site. Okay. Depending on the location of the lodge. Right. So we want you to be at the cake of site at around 5.45. 5.45 a.m. In the morning. Mm -hmm. So that you can see the whole preparation mm -hmm. on how our balloon are being inflated before they take off. Okay. And also with our pilot who will give you the safety uh -huh. and maybe what you will expect to see during oh, your you flight. Alright. So you will be taking off at around 6.30 in the morning, uh -huh. that is during sunrise. Sunrise. Yeah, we normally wait for the sunrise okay. and then we take off. Okay. Yeah, and the flight will last for one hour. Uh -huh. In the air, depending on the wind condition. Okay. But it cannot be less than one hour because we are actually taking off near the boundary of the park mm -hmm. and we fly towards Tanzania border. Ah, okay. That is so that is Serengeti. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So when it is very windy, yeah. you might get to the border after one hour uh -huh. if you have to land because uh -huh. you are not allowed to cross the border. All right. And when the wind is calm, you might not get to the border mm -hmm. and our pilot might extend the flight mm -hmm. maybe by 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you will see Serengeti when you are up there. Okay. So it will be maybe one hour, 15 or 20 minutes. Yes. Now upon landing, yes. you know while you are flying, yes. our vehicle will be chasing you down. Ah, yeah. Okay. So upon landing, yes. our driver again will pick you from there to a very special breakfast in the bush. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we call it champagne breakfast. Okay. It's a full breakfast. Right. A buffet. Yes. Yeah, and after breakfast, you will be given the flight certificate. Ah. But so you have done a ballooning uh -huh. in Masai Mara. So this is what Air Safari is. Yeah. 450 US dollars. Yes. That's equivalent to 45,000 Kenyan shillings. Or roughly. Or it's the rate. It's 118 right yeah. now. Ah, okay. Around 47,000 47, Kenyan shillings. Yeah. Ah, all right. Yeah. Okay, so for the guys who are interested in doing the hotel balloon, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually contact hotel safaris. Yes, and we have also our email there. Yes, no. yes, I'll include the, I think I'll just pick, I'll pick this, then I'll include the number and the email address in the link description. Okay, no right? problem. Thank you, Thank very you much. so much. Alright. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Alright. <laughs>so here for the evening game drive let's see the wild animals hope to see the big five
think it's a small one. It's not that big. And they're big. That's why I'm highly suspecting that lion was like was still a cub because lions are big. <laughs> it's marking his territory. Yeah. Okay, so we are done with the event of the day. We are just done uh, from doing the evening game drive, we, and we are signing off with this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunset. Yeah, so I guess we'll be seeing you tomorrow. Uh, today we're actually quite lucky. We got to be we got to be able to see two of the big biggest five, or rather two of the big five. So that way we got to see the elephants. We got to see the lion. So hopefully we'll get to see uh, the rest of the animals, the rest of the big five tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's at night right now, uh, just uh, besides the bonfire, just from doing supper right now. Yeah, quite an awesome experience. Yeah, so we're basically, be, uh, we're, we're, we're camping at Lanchada. So yeah, so let's just catch up with the, the Maasai guys as they tell us uh, stories. Hopefully I get to record that for you as well. Alright, uh, have a good night. Bye. Very beautiful morning over here. Uh, day two, right? So we're basically doing a, we're going for a full day game drive. It's actually morning in here, as you can see around. Let's go around, let's go around, come, 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 come. Let's go around, the sun is shining, let's go around, let's go around. Yeah, so basically that's all idea. So let's go and have breakfast. And then I think I uh, will be doing. Uh, we're actually shifting to different uh, camp tent, right? Because uh, when you booked in, we booked in the wrong uh, camp. So we're moving to the to a different camp. Uh, so pretty much tonight we'll be sleeping over there. I'll show you the camp as well. I think it should be better than this one. So anyway, all right. See you guys. Let's go for breakfast.
longest giraffe is six meters, which is this one, Maasai giraffe. This one? Yeah.
So just one more thing to do in the Masai Mara that is basically go to the Serengeti. Yeah, and see where the fifth uh, one of the world usually happens. Well, hope we get to see the migration, if not uh, the crossing. Tell they are about to migrate. There are two things. Yeah. Mm. Crossing. Crossing, eh? So what are you asking? Okay, how do you tell they are about to cross? Yeah, that one is a uh, task you... that we have to wait. We have yeah. to have patience. This is one of the signs. Mm. Ah. 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 So it needs a lot of time. Okay, so over here we're in Tanzania, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically this will separate Kenya from Tanzania. So I believe Kenya is on the other side. And if you come closer, as it's labeled here, with an abbreviation of T and Z, so Tanzania. Yeah, so quite a spending experience. So this is no man's land, huh? So you can do anything. I was even being told you can kill anybody here, and nothing will happen to you because basically it's no man's land. And then I'll come over here. This side, this side, this side, this side, this side. So here we're in Kenya. As you can see, label K E. So this is where Kenya is. Alright. Then come over here. Come this side. Then over here in Tanzania, as it's indicated, T Z. Or rather T Z. Yeah. So I think yeah. I've been, I've been in Kenya, I've been in Tanzania. So <laughs> what next? <laughs> Okay, time to get back to the camp. We're very tired. See you at our new camp. So we just checked in uh, to the camp. I was supposed to check in yesterday. So this is Lenchada. Sindio, mm -hmm. this is Lenchada camp. We're in uh, Senkale, right? So just probably show them around. Just do a 360 video by the uh, showing the place. We'll also just give you an exploration of how. Okay. So just come, come with me. So basically, these are just this more like the tent setup. These are tents whereby most guests uh, usually check in. So just come along. Eh? All right. So more tents, more tents, more tents. And the funny, the, the interesting thing is that all the tents are named, as you can see. We have El El Bruce. Yeah, let's look around. Funny thing is, 2019 when we came here by this, there were, there were no tents around this side. We only had tents on the other side. But I think uh, they've added more tents as you can see. <laughs> they've added more tents. And I think the tents actually named according to probably maybe uh, 
a place or maybe a physical feature as you can see Everest we had Kilimanjaro behind there this is more this is Everest if you did geography I'm sure you, you could relate to what I'm talking about huh? In being I'm a fitness enthusiast, I won't be drinking, I'll just be drinking milk, huh? keeping fit, keeping healthy, and watching my dad, even if I'm on a safari. This is the fireplace. Yeah, I mean, it looks the same as last time. Nothing much, but nothing much has changed. Nothing much has really changed. So, except from the tents that are added. Yeah, so let's go to the dining room. All right, so what I like about this place specifically is that, you know, there's that natural Maasai feature, Maasai, Maasai kind of uh, living setup. So it makes it quite interesting, yeah. So that's why I actually really, really love this place as opposed to the other side. So come on in. Oh, but as you can see by there, there are cows over there. The young kids taking care. Young kids actually taking care of cattle. As you can see. Those are basically really brave Maasai warriors. Because I'm sure in being there are more of like uh, in this uh, wildlife setup. They basically can't come across lions and I'm sure by the way, if a lion was to so attack one of their one of their cows or they'll definitely definitely kill it. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we've seen videos online and yeah. Alright, so let me just let's let me take you to the dining room. Alright, so this is the dining area. Uh please do a 360 video by the way. This place is a bit dark. But uh, let me just give you a basic uh, setup of the place. Looks like. So, yeah. Here's the going to be dining. And then here's the bar. So here's the bar. If you're a hard stuff guy, I'm talking about here. Alright? And then uh, the other side. Uh, it's quite dark, but it's a big uh, living room setup. So. I think pretty much that, that should be it. That should be it uh, about Lenchada. So if you are planning to come to Masai Mara, you might as well try this place. Personally for me, I love it. Bye. Okay guys, so basically this is our last day of Masai Mara. Day three. Today is a Sunday. Uh, so uh, we're basically going back to Nairobi uh, yeah tomorrow back to work as usual so like uh, personally from my take by the way personally I enjoyed uh, the evening game drive that was on Friday when we got here the evening game drive was quite awesome and uh, I really enjoyed it because uh, we got to see the sunset the full game drive the full game game drive was also awesome but uh i think after some time you go to see all the animals and it just became too monotonous <laughs> and boring but uh okay not boring per se but just monotonous because you know the thing about the wild what makes it interesting is activities i mean seeing a lion hunt but then you know those are very 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 rare scenarios so it's not really easy to come across such kind of uh, scenarios but uh, for me, the evening game drive was quite awesome because of the sunset. Yeah, so I think that should be it from my end. I'm with my wife here, by the way. So, what was your best experience by the for the three days we've been here? The full day game drive and um, the fact that we stayed in two different camps. Yeah, actually, uh, if, 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 if you've noticed, by the way, we started with the... Uh, Touched base at Sankala. Uh, is it Sankale? Sankale. 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 <laughs> and then you move to Lenchada. Uh, so I think for me, actually, Lenchada does the magic for me. Yes, I, I prefer Lenchada as opposed to Sankale. Yeah, but uh, from the videos, you get to make your own decision. But for me, I think I love Lenchada more. Yeah, so there's still quite some activities ahead of us today. We are going for. Uh, 
well day three they gave us an option of doing a money game drive but then uh, there's also the option of also going to the Maasai village just get to understand their lifestyle how they live what they do so I think we've we've had enough of the animals so let's just get to experience another another let's just get to, let's let's get to experience something different so we'll be going to the Maasai village so we'll still do a recording for you guys as well yeah so so that you make an informed decision and by the way we're going to use expedition Maasai safaris so the package is quite affordable and manageable yeah we'll include everything we'll include everything on the in the description down down below the link so well let's see you guys at the, the Maasai village yeah all right all right guys as you can see we're in the Maasai village now as you can see behind us we have the Maasai warriors and Morans so we are about to be taken for a tour around the village yeah so let's say it goes let's say it goes come along so I'm being told listen listen I'm being told that if I jump high I'll get a second wife I'm gonna no. jump high I'm gonna jump as well. I'm coming out with the wife from here up and down people jumping from here no so if I jump high I'm getting a wife I'll get a second wife Oh wow <laughs> 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 So right here, actually witnessing these guys make fire uh, using uh, sticks and just uh, 
Yeah, and uh, hard and uh, stick that they keep on rolling on their hand. Remember, these guys have no mud stick, so they make fire out of nothing. So, well, sit back and watch. Hey, <laughs> Hola, <laughs> 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 so this is how we used to make the fire. Yes. Mm. Just like that. That's fire already. <laughs> It's actually my turn to try. Well, let me try. I work out. <laughs> Sometimes you get a blister in your hand. Ah. Yeah. So take care. Let's try it. What's up with Waka Saib? Saib. I don't have water. 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 so basically this is the market yeah. i'm with uh remind me of the name yeah. john i'm with john so john is basically basically taking us through uh, the market what these guys have then you see if you can pick something right all right, let's go around to see what they have.
na Taya. Or your wife. Ah. So this is a uh, come come close to you. Yeah. So we have uh, Lepore. The Lepores. The Lepore family. Okay, we're just from buying a this from the Lepore family. All right. We love them. Thank you. Welcome. All right. So that's it for adventure if you enjoyed the video go ahead like share and subscribe and uh see you on the next one